was you. My teacher got mad at me today, and I didn't even do anything wrong. If there's anything I can't stand, it's a person who gets mad for nothing. I'll say that's wrong. Hello? I'm a singer, I'm a singer, I'm a singer, I'm a singer, I'm a singer. Vince? Is that you? That's Vince. I'm a singer, 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 i I'll never talk to him again. That's right, I won't. Uh-oh. Don't go away. Something tells me we're in for big trouble. <laughs> Excuse me, Gert, but I better go to the garden and dig, or I'm going to smash everything in sight. <laughs> well, Gert, don't you be angry now. You didn't do anything. And I don't need any advice from you. Excuse me. <laughs> well, I never. Boy, I didn't see Edward so mad. <laughs> me either. I don't care if he ever comes back. Now, Gert, don't you get angry, too. I can't help it. I only tried to help him. Well, maybe I can help you. Listen to this. It's a verse from God's book. Do not associate with man. Give it to anger. In case you become like he is and find yourself in a trap. Huh? What's it mean? In other words, if you hang around with the crabby skunk, pretty soon you'll smell just like he does. Oh, I get it. I don't want to let anger get me down. Then forgive Egbert and forget all about what happened. Then you'll be free of anger. I will, and I do. I feel so much better. Remember, anger without a reason is wrong, and it only hurts. It's always better to forgive, then God will forgive us. Watch this and you'll see. Lyndon, could you please turn the TV? Sure. Yeah. All right. Oh. oh. The kingdom of God is like a king who decided to check up on his financial records. He noticed that one person owed him ten million dollars, so the king had him brought before him. But there was just no way the man could pay back that much. The king then ordered that he and his wife and children and everything he owned be sold for the debt. Oh, please, your majesty, I beg you, be patient with me. I'll pay all of it back if you give me time. The king was filled with pity, so he released him and forgave him his debt. However, as soon as the man left, he immediately went to a fellow worker who owed him only $2,000. He grabbed him by the throat and demanded instant payment. Money, 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 money. Oh, please, sir, I beg you, be patient with me. I will pay you back as soon as possible, I promise. But his creditor showed no mercy. The poor man was thrown into jail until he could return the money. As soon as the man's relatives and friends heard about this, they ran to the king and told him what had happened. The king then ordered before him the man he had forgiven. You evil-hearted scoundrel! Here I forgive you that enormous amount you owed me. Why didn't you forgive someone who owed you even a small amount? Then the angry king sentenced the man to life imprisonment and hard labor. He was banished from the kingdom forever. So shall God, our heavenly king, do to you if you refuse to truly forgive others. Wow. You understand? Yes, and I've forgiven Egbert. I just hope he will forgive Vince. So do I. I can't imagine what got into Vince today. Oh, yeah.
you feel angry. You oh. mean you're mad, so you blast the very first person you come to? Uh -huh. I was sick. Well, that kind of anger oh. is definitely wrong. Huh? That's right. You settle down, Vince. I'm going to tell you a story about a crabby man who was acting just like you. Uh -oh. Now, this man. Many people think that it's wrong to be angry, but it's not. Anger is a God-given emotion, and like every other feeling we have, it is to be used properly to help better a bad situation. Most of us think all anger is bad because so many people use anger just to hurt and not to help at all, and that use of anger is wrong. That's the way it was in this cavalry camp back in the days when the West was young. This division of the infantry wasn't quite up to scratch, if you know what I mean. In other words, these boys were simple, less than genius. In fact, most were well below average, and a few had one-digit IQs. Now, just a minute. Don't you think you're exaggerating a little? Maybe, but I figure you're at least that smart. You really think so? Thanks. But they all enjoyed life, and one thing in particular music. Now that's a cue if I ever heard one. Hey boys, how about singing your new song again? Officer. He was the crabbiest old buzzard in the West. He'd get mad for no reason at all. What's all this racket I hear? All this laughing? A waste of time, that's what. You men are going to pay for this. But what did we do? Yeah, you never interrupt your commanding officer. You're all on KP duty. You know where the potatoes are. Get to work and no laughing. What is this? He's got to be the crabbiest person in the West. And he gets mad for no reason at all. Yeah. It's hard to say why some people get angry for nothing. Maybe they're jealous of people who feel good. Maybe they're frustrated, so they take it out on others. Or maybe they just enjoy making people hurt. Whatever it is, anger without a reason is wrong and selfish and hurts. And people who use anger this way should pray that God would forgive them. Doesn't he ever say something good? Let's not let this get us down. At least we can look forward to the concert Saturday. Yeah, we're singing with our girls in town. All right. As long as we get a pass. Yeah. yeah. Be a I can lot hardly of... wait till Saturday when we get to sing with our boyfriends. I know, me too. Everyone's going to love our song. Let's go decide which wear. Yeah. Chance crabby old Appleton won't give us a pass for Saturday? He better. I don't want to disappoint the girls. And besides, we gotta get away from that old crap for one night, or I'm afraid for us if we don't. Why? Well, I learned a lesson from the good book. It said, don't associate with a man given to anger, in case you become like him and find yourself in a trap. I don't want to be like him. I don't either, but could you explain what you just said? Sure. In other words, don't, if you hang around a skunk long enough, pretty soon you'll be smelling too, just like he does. Oh, I get it. I don't want to smell like that skunk. <laughs> the days before Saturday passed slowly, and even though the men tried not to laugh and have a good time and make the commander crabby, 
It made no difference. He'd still explode into a rage of anger at them at least once a day. Come here, you bomb! <laughs> you men are good for nothing. You're the most useless tools I've ever seen in my life. You're a disgrace to the cavalry. A waste of breath to humanity. But what did we do? And for that interruption, you can keep on peeling potatoes. Now get back to work. Get, 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 get. Doesn't he ever say something good? He doesn't know anything good. He makes me mad. Well, at least you have reason to be. Don't let him get to you. Yeah, I don't want to spill like that stuff. <laughs> at last, Saturday arrived. Everyone was so excited about the concert, they couldn't help acting happy. But that's what ticked off the commander. All right, you guys, get over here! <laughs> Attention! You boys have forgotten the direct order. No rapping! No passes tonight! What? We've got a concert! Big deal, officer, you're grounded! You're nothing but a skunk, sir! You smell, sir! I warned about people like you. Let him continue. It warns in the good book that you should stay away from people who are given to anger in case you become like them. And I don't want to be like you, sir. Never, never, never. What? Why can't you say something good? The commanding officer was in shock. Porky's words cut into his heart, and he knew Porky was right. But he couldn't admit it. You men know where the potatoes are. Enjoy your Saturday night. Huh? Dismissed. You stuck. You stuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never felt so angry. It's not like you didn't have a reason. Well, you gotta forgive that skunk, or you'll start smelling too. I know. I forgive. About this time, the commander was having a battle of his own. Here it is. Do not associate with a man given to anger, lest you become like he is and find yourself in a trap. What a fool I've been. My anger is wrong. It doesn't help anyone. It just hurts. Forgive me, God. I feel better now. I'm just sorry we have to let the girls down. I know. <clears throat> At ease, men. I'd like to apologize for my outbursts of anger. For all of them. There's no excuse for my actions. I'm wrong, and I'm sorry for any hurt that I've caused you. You're dismissed. Enjoy your concert. All right! <laughs> We'd like to have you join us, sir. I'd be proud. All right! Somebody, he's done something good. It never hurts to tell somebody, he's done something great. It never hurts to tell somebody. 
I'm proud to be your commander. Hey, let me shake your hand. Good job. And that's how one commanding officer learned that anger without a cause is wrong. It only hurts. But anger with a reason can help fix up a bad situation. Isn't that right, Porky? It sure is. And did you hear him? He said something good. <laughs> That a nice story? Uh, I guess in you. That's okay, Vince. As long as you don't take your anger out on others anymore. Oh, Al Gore. Now that sounds like my old friend. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Worms doing in my garden. Your garden was their home long before you arrived. Oh, is that so? Yes, that's so crabby. Why don't you cool off and watch the craft with us? Yeah. Forget it. Some of us have got to work for a living. <laughs> oh, brother. Well, just because you're mad doesn't mean you're going to spoil our fun. Stacy, turn on the television and let's see what Scott's making down at Kaleidoscope. Yeah! some colored paper. Sue, show them what you're going to do. Okay, Scott, we're going to make pictures today without painting or drawing. We do a little bit of drawing. We're going to make colored paper mosaics. Now, first of all, you draw your design on the paper that you want to do. Then you cut out your colored paper into all different shapes and sizes. All the different, different kinds, the better. Now, this one here, We've drawn a house, and then we've put different colors on it. You can also cut out magazines and use it, and it gets, gives different textures. Here's our fish. And that's how you do it. Hey, Sue, that was fun. You can do it, too. Quit being happy. 
happy, no laughter. Tassie, is there such thing as anger with a reason? Yes, there is. Anger is right when it is used to better a bad situation. Really? Well, I think a little anger would be appropriate right now. Would you please bring the phone over to the window? Sure. Egbert, I've had it with your rotten attitude. You've let anger get a hold of you, and now you smell like a skunk. A skunk? And not only that, I feel sorry for the worms in your garden. But they have to put up with you. Well, I never. Well, you better, because if you don't get on this phone and forgive Vince, you're nobody's friend. What? Yeah, Only right. a real friend will forgive. Yeah. You're right, Gert. I have been a skunk. Give me the phone, please. <laughs> Hello? Oh, is he gonna raise it up? Vince? Is that yes. you? Oh, is he gonna raise it up? Well, I'm sorry for being angry, too. There was no need. Of course I forgive you. Aww. What are friends for? Okay. Bye. What a guy. Oh, I feel so much better. Let's sing the happy song. Circle Square. A few months ago, my brother David got hit by a car. We prayed for him and asked the Lord to help him. He came home a few hours later and nothing was wrong with him. Our family learned a lot from the accident. We learned that God is always with us and we don't even know it. We learned that God is trying to tell us something, which is that he wants us to follow and love him. Yours truly, Norma. Thanks, Norma. Circle Square wants to hear from you, too. If you have a question or a problem, or if you have trouble being crabby for no reason at all, <laughs> we want to help you. But right soon, because we really want to hear from you. Right. Right.
you enjoyed today's show, and we hope you learned what we learned, that anger without a reason is wrong, and it only hurts. But anger with the cause can help better a bad situation. It's not right, Egbert? Egbert! <laughs> Gone to see my friend Vince. See you all next week. Oh, Egbert. Oh, <laughs>